Today, we have the Zeus 72 caliber 12 gauge shotgun out today. This time, we're using the smooth bore, and now we have the choke insert. Compared to the last time with the 58 cal 24 gauge, hopefully, this goes very different. A big thank you to Jim at Texoma Precision Pellet for sending out these Zeus parts, the smooth bore barrel, and this choke adapter. We have three different chokes we're gonna be using today a skeet choke, light modified, and full. We also have two different types of shot that we're gonna be using. We have wads from Texoma Precision Pellet with number eight shot in baggies that we're gonna try out. I also have paint cups that I put together with one half ounce of number seven shot in each. Now I bought three different types of wads to try out. We're gonna do half ounce first, and then we're gonna double up to one ounce. One half ounce is enough to fit inside of each of these wads. We'll double it up though to see if that makes a difference if there's some shots sticking outside of the wad. When we try out the three different wads that I bought and the number seven shot that I put together, we're gonna to be using these shot cushions I'm hoping these go down a little bit more even. The overshot cards were kind of going down at an angle when I tried putting them down before I did this video. Hopefully these work better. Now the plan for today is we're gonna go through each of these wads. We'll do one half ounce. Each one of these is one half ounce a shot. Then we're gonna double it up. So one full ounce and one half ounce for each wad. Then we're gonna go through each choke and do the same thing. So we're gonna have half ounce shot, one ounce shot. Each wad, each choke. We're at exactly 50 feet here like the last time I did these tests. If the groups are pretty good at 50 feet, maybe we'll back it up a little bit more. If they're not as tight, we'll move into say 25. I don't wanna go point blank this time. 25 is probably gonna be as close as we get. Let's do all of our grouping tests and then after I find what's the best combination, I wanna destroy some things. Maybe we'll do some skeet shooting again. I got some watermelons. We got steels we can try it on and we have some sodas again. The skeet choke is in now. It's the widest of the three. We're gonna start off with Texoma Precision Pellets wad and the baggie. Number eight shots in. We're also gonna be tethered the entire time. I want absolute consistency so that's what this line is. 50 feet, number eight shot, takes on a precision pellet. I think those baggies are still staying intact and it's just acting like a, like a slug pretty much. All right, we're gonna start off with the federal wad columns. I'm gonna insert this into the breech, feed the rounds down the bore and then push down the wad cover. And that's gonna be what happens in between each shot. I just wanna show that once. I'm not gonna show that going further just so you get an idea of what I'm doing. Let's use that same target since we only put one big hole through it. Number eight shot, federal wad. It's a new day. I got rained out the last time. Looks like it's gonna rain again today, so I'll see how long I can stay out here before that happens. After reviewing that initial shot pattern on the first day, I've decided to double up the shot count. We're gonna do one full ounce into each of these targets. So let's try out each of those wads, one wad per target, and then we're gonna switch out the chokes. All right, this is the Federal Podium Wad. One ounce of shot, 50 feet. I'd say we pretty much covered the entire target at this point. Pretty good spread. Ballistics Products Wad. Piston ski. That one spread out a little bit more to the right. So, so far, the federal podium is the best right now with this choke. Clay Buster, standard, 12 gauge. That was closer pattern to the federal podium. Let's switch up the chokes and repeat. I got fresh new targets out, but before I get back to that, my wads and my shot, I want to try out this Texoma Precision Pellet shot shell first. With the new choke, it's 0.10 less diameter. So this one, the skeet was 725, the light modified is 715. If this still just works as a slug essentially, I won't replace the paper. If it opens up, I'll replace the paper. Let's see what happens. I just turned the paper into the T1000. <laughs> All right, so still staying as a slug. Let's try out these other shot and wads. Federal podium, one ounce of shot, 
Light modified choke. 50 feet. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm very hopeful for that full choke. Let's do the next wad. So far, I'm not liking this one as much as the other two. The Federal and the Clay Buster did good with the uh, Skeet Choke. Let's see if that Clay Buster does just as good, if not better than the Federal with this Light Modified. I'm decently happy with that last one, but I think that Federal Podium is gonna be the best. Targets are replaced, full choke is in. Let's give this Texon Precision Pellet Shot Shell one last chance to see if it opens up with this full choke. Negative, still one giant slug, although I'm sure that's pretty powerful. In fact, I know it's pretty powerful because the first video before it rained, I shot my two x four and just blew a clean hole right through the thing. Federal podium wad, one ounce of shot, 50 feet, full choke. I can't really tell a difference between that and the light modified. Ballistics products, piston ski. One ounce of shot, 50 feet, full choke. That was a little bit better than the light modified. Still wants to shift to the right a little bit though. And it was kind of funny, I saw my wad fly off in the air. Clay Buster, standard 12 gauge wad. One ounce of shot, 50 feet, full choke. I think if we get just a little bit more constriction, this will pattern even better, but compared to the first time I brought this out, that was not very effective. Let's go to like 25 feet. All right, let's retry. This is infinitely better. Let's get to 25 feet. I want to repeat. We'll repeat all three. We'll go to 25 feet, repeat all three, and then see how that works. And then I'll make a determination what we're going to use after that. Federal podium, one ounce of shot, 25 feet, full choke. Now, if I can get that grouping at 50 feet, I'm going to be very happy. Ballistics products, piston skeet, one ounce of shot, 25 feet, full choke. Still wants to group to the right a little bit. I don't know what's up with that. Not bad though at 25 feet. Clay Buster, standard 12 gauge wad, one ounce of shot, 25 feet, full choke. Well, it looks like it's going to be the Federal Podium Wad today. I can grab some more wads and some different chokes for the next video and test that out, but for today, we're going to be sticking with that. Let's blow some stuff up. Let's do a gel test of the Federal Podium Wad, point blank. Might need a little bit of protection for this, though. Surprisingly, they didn't make it too far in the gel. Let's do the Texoma Precision Pellet Wad. This thing acts like a slug, so I'm assuming we're gonna get a lot more power out of this. Note to self, do not do that unless you want babies to fragment and come back at you. Ow. I'm not sure exactly what happened with the gel in the last shot. Obviously, I haven't seen the footage yet. But there is a 12 gauge hole in that gel. My finger can just poke right through. There's just a massive cavity. So now it doesn't look like it did much right now, but considering the hole that's in there, compared to other rounds that I've put through this, it doesn't leave just a chunk missing. This thing's missing a chunk of gel. All right, so we got the best performing wads right now, the Federal Podiums. We're at 25 feet. I want to see what this does to that watermelon down there. Hopefully it obliterates it. If it doesn't obliterate it from here, we're going to move closer and we're going to obliterate it. 
All right, let's get a closer look. All right, we're gonna move like up to 10 feet, blow it away. All right, hopefully this does the job. If I can get a pattern like that at 50 feet, I would be amazed by this. We still have some work to do, but damn. <laughs> and it's amazing how little that translates onto the ballistics gel. It only went like that far in. I still haven't seen the footage, so bear with me on that part. We have that massive hole in there, but for it to <laughs> obliterate that watermelon. And if you're wondering, the slug version of this gun produces up to 1,500 foot-pounds. Those steels down there at a hundred yards, if I hit with a slug out of this, it knocks those targets over. It is a train of lead. All right, let's repeat this. I want to do this with Texoma Precision Pellets shot shell and see if that works. All right, we got the TPP shot shell in. Let's see what this does to the watermelon. obliterated I have people in the comments saying that just because this is air powered means it's not going to do damage that is insane to me just because this is air powered doesn't restrict it from being able to absolutely decimate something there's still a ton of power being produced out of this BB gun if you want to call it that but at that point I think we're just being absolutely ridiculous here we're back to my muzzle loader style shot load. We got the federal podiums. Let's see if we can annihilate all these sodas in one shot. I just hope I'm not in the splash zone. I think I got all of them except one. Let me go check real quick. All right, so we have one survivor. These things got absolutely decimated. There's just We have a lone survivor though. Let's see if I can hit that with that TPP shot shell. Well, that seemed to have obliterated it. Let's go back to 25 feet. I want to do the absolute slowest Texas start in history. I thought the harpoon video would have been the slowest, but I think this is going to beat it. All right, time for the slowest Texas start in history. I'll do an edited down version and a longer version so you see what actually goes on. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. That better be coming off the next shot. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's better. I don't know what was going on with the bolt there. Would not cock back. God damn it. I think I must have had a BB get lodged in there. All right, let's wrap up the slowest Texas star in history. Thank God. All right, let's do some skeet shooting. It's skeet shooting time. Pull. Not bad. All right, let's do another one. Ready? Pull. 
I hope that caught on camera. <laughs> that thing got blasted. I think I'm going to invest in a skeet machine for this. All right, can we get three for three on the skeet? Ready? Pull. Pull. Can we get four for four? Ready? Pull. Four for four. This thing's working way better than it was last time. So that's gonna wrap things up with the Zeus, featuring a smooth bore, shotgun barrel, and choke. Now the results in this video were significantly better than the last time. We didn't have the choke, and unfortunately, I thought the original barrel that I got was smooth bore, but it ended up being rifled. So big improvement with the smooth bore and the choke. Now I am hoping to revisit this again. I think this method with the muzzle loading the shot is working out pretty decent. This choke is coming in very handy though. And maybe I'm gonna try out a couple more wads because the federal ones seem to be the, they seem to group the best for this. So those other two, the one was pretty decent, the other one not so great. So I could potentially get more wads. I wanna get a couple more chokes, try those out and then revisit. We'll do similar tests like we did in this video and just compare them from the last one to the current one. See how much of a difference it makes and go from there. All right? See ya.